So I'm back again. It's that time of year. Homeschool, we're getting ready to start with a brand new year of school. So um, I just wanted to make a video and actually let you guys know that I'm switching curriculum. Um, and so if you wanna know why, then keep watching. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayla and I'm the creator of Junk Drawer Mom. I believe that hiding is overrated, so on this channel we talk about everything motherhood from practical to personal. So if you're new here, consider subscribing before you go. So today I wanted to come on and uh, talk about homeschool curriculum. Um, this is our, going into our fourth year of homeschooling and so um, I've learned quite a bit um, about the homeschooling experience and all of the materials and things that are out there. Um, and I, uh, what's the right word? Um, I'm ready for a change, let's just say that. I'm ready for a change. Um, and I think one of the main reasons why uh, we decided to switch homeschooling is because of the fact that, like, I just didn't like it. <laughs> I mean, I love the, the curriculum that we were using. We were using a Becca. Um, I loved uh, the style of teaching for Becca and everything, but it just was getting to be too much for our kids. Um, and for me specifically, like, it's a lot. It's a very rigorous curriculum, and now with four kids, um, it's challenging to complete all the work for the day. So it was putting a lot of stress on me. It was also putting a lot of stress on the kids because it was very rigorous. It was a lot of work. Um, and I just, as a parent, you know, especially as a homeschooling mom, you want to uh, make sure that your kids like develop this love of learning. Um, and it's, it can be challenging. Um, and it can be very hard to see your kids struggle or to see them um, not enjoying what they're doing and what they're learning. And so I've been thinking about this for a while, about switching, um, and so, Y'all know me, I love to research. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of research about what's out there, some of the things that will work for us, things that won't work. Um, and so I'm happy to announce that we are uh, switching to a curriculum called Gather Round Homeschool. Uh, I'm gonna make a separate video about the differences between Abeka and Gather Round, uh, just so that you guys know, but um, I'm really looking forward to this new year, I think it's kind of a pivotal year because Josiah is my oldest, he's going into third grade. And I feel like third grade is like officially kind of this big boy age of schooling. Um, and so same with Eli, like he's going into first grade. And so there's just this whole new world, you know, of learning for the both of them that I'm looking, really looking forward to. And then I've got Nathaniel and Abigail who are uh, pre-K and preschool. And um, I just love watching them, you know, learn and grow. And so um, one of the things that I would encourage you in, like if you are new to homeschooling, maybe, you know, you're homeschooling now because of the whole COVID pandemic, um, or, you know, you're just looking to do something different. But one of the things that I always tell people to consider um, when they are going into a new school year is to evaluate is the curriculum that you were using previously working. Now, obviously, if you are a new homeschooler, then you have nothing to base this on um, other than maybe what your student was learning while they were in public or private education. Um, but I would definitely recommend a de-schooling period where you just get rid of all frame of reference for what learning actually looks like or what you think it should be. Um, and just take the time to really learn and understand your child. And also not being afraid to switch. Uh, that's one thing that, you know, like of course nobody wants to waste money, right? I don't wanna waste money on just buying a whole bunch of things. Um, but I think in terms of the direction that my family is going in, um, we just, we need something different now. And that's okay. It's okay uh, to change your mind. 
Like we are allowed to change our minds and there's nothing wrong with that at all, so. In the next video, I'm gonna be talking about the differences between Abeka, which is what I was using before, and Gather On Homeschool. So make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss that video. Um, and I think you're really gonna like Gather Round. It's, it's a really cool program, so. Anyway, don't forget, hiding is overrated, and I'll see you next time.